Welcome back to another video of Silver Screen Recaps. Today we are going to explain Tomb Bad movie. Tomb Bad is a 2018 Hindi horror film. The plot is centered on a man whose greed drives him to find a hidden treasure guarded by a cursed god. The cast is loaded with fabulous theater actors, and they've all done such a fantastic job. I love how the horror elements in the film are more to induce fear in the characters than being jump scare moments for the audience. Here's the plot and ending of Tomb Bad explained. Spoilers ahead. In 1947, Vinayak Rao tells his 14-year-old son Pandurang about the goddess of prosperity. She is the symbol of unlimited wealth and food, and the earth is her womb. When the universe was created, she gave birth to 190 million gods. Hustur, her first and most beloved offspring, was greedy for all her gold and food. Hustur managed to acquire the gold from the goddess but the other gods attacked him just as he was about to acquire her food. Then, the goddess saved him on the condition that he could never be worshipped and would be forgotten by history. For years, Hustur slumbered inside his mother's womb. However, the residents of Tomb Bad, where Hustur has been trapped in his mother's womb, defy this ancient taboo and build a temple dedicated to Hustur. This earns the ire of the gods and they curse the village, causing an incessant downpour of rain over it. In 1918, in Tomb Bad, Vinayak's mother and the mistress of the local lord, addressed as Sarkar, meets him at his mansion. This includes offering him sexual services in the hope of acquiring a single gold coin kept with the Hustur idol. Meanwhile, at their home, Vinayak and his younger brother Sadashiv worry about having to feed the monstrous old woman, the Sarkar's ancestor, chained up in a separate room. The Sarkar later dies, and the mother proposes leaving Tomb Bad for Pune. Vinayak insists on finding the treasure that is rumored to be hidden somewhere in the mansion. Sadashiv gets badly hurt after falling from a tree, forcing his mother to take him for help. She tells Vinayak he will have to feed his grandmother that night. She also warns him that if the old woman wakes up, he should invoke the name of Hustur to make her sleep. Meanwhile, Sadashiv dies on the way to the doctor. The mother directs her carriage driver to Sarkar's mansion where she retrieves the gold coin. As Vinayak tries to feed her, the monstrous and hungry old woman attacks and shackles him to eat him who invokes Hustur's name, causing her to fall into slumber. His mother returns, and the next day she and Vinayak leave Tomb Bad for Pune. She forces Vinayak to promise never return to Tomb Bad, despite his protests to stay and search for the treasure. Fifteen years pass, and Vinayak grows up. Desperate to escape his life of poverty, Vinayak returns to Tomb Bad. The old woman, with now a tree growing out of her body, warns him he will be cursed to become immortal and turned into a monster like her if he touches the treasure that is Haystar. She explains that a well leads to the goddess womb where Hustur dwells, in exchange for ending her prolonged suffering. Vinayak keeps his promise and sets her on fire, thus killing her. Although Hustur stole the goddess's gold, he was unable to acquire her grain. Therefore, being hungry for years, he desires flour. Vinayak physically trains himself to climb up and down a long rope and makes dolls out of dough to lure Hustur inside the goddess's womb. While he is distracted by the food, Vinayak swipes at Hustur's loincloth containing the gold. Vinayak regularly repeats the procedure to steal dropped coins. He offers his first gold coin to the opium merchant Raghav to pay off a debt. Each time he needs more money, Vinayak returns to Tomb Bad to steal from Hustur. Raghav openly wonders about the treasure rumored to exist in the Tomb Bad mansion while also questioning why Vinayak can only retrieve a few coins at a time. Vinayak and his wife give birth to their son Pandora. When Sergeant Cooper gives him only two days to come through with the money, Raghav sells his widowed daughter-in-law to Vinayak as a mistress, who tells Vinayak of Raghav's plans to visit Tomb Bad to help himself to the treasure in exchange for money. Vinayak is then shown following Raghav to the Tomb Bad mansion where he tricks him into descending into the goddess womb where Hustur viciously attacks Raghav and turns him into a monster, conjoining him into the walls of the womb. Vinayak burns Raghav alive to end his suffering. In 1947, Vinayak takes Pandurang to the mansion to train him for the same purpose and is told not to bring the doe doll down. But he secretly brings a doe doll and Hustur unexpectedly attacks. They barely manage to escape and Vinayak chides his son for nearly getting them touched. Pandurang suggests stealing Hustur's loincloth and they make dozens of doe dolls to distract Hustur. However, the two of them become trapped inside the womb when multiple clones of Hustur appear for, one for each doll they possess. With no hope of escaping, Vinayak ties the dolls to his body to act as bait, to allow his son to return safely. Once the coast is clear, Pandurang climbs back to the surface to see his father being mutated into a monster outside the well. Vinayak presents him with the stolen loincloth that he stole from Hustur, but Pandurang refuses to take it. Sobbing at seeing what his father turned into, Pandurang reluctantly sets Vinayak on fire and leaves. 
How is that old grandmother still alive? The zombie-like old lady is Sarkar's grandmother. How the heck is she alive? Well, her backstory is that she found the hidden treasure when she was young. But she was attacked by Hustur and was cursed with eternal life without eternal youth. Like Hustur, she is always hungry, and when someone utters the phrase, sleep, else Hustur will come, she goes to sleep. Vinayak's mother has been feeding the old woman for years as part of her quest for that single gold coin. When Vinayak and his mother leave town, they let the grandmother rot in their house. Years pass, and a tree grows through her, but her curse keeps her alive. Vinayak's return to Tomb Bad. Fifteen years later, Vinayak's greed brings him back to Tomb Bad to hunt down the treasure. He meets the grandmother, who agrees to give him the location of the gold if Vinayak frees her by killing her. After getting all the information he needs about the treasure and how to extract it from Hustur, he sets her on fire. Vinayak now knows the procedure to extract gold from Hustur. Hustur's loincloth is where the gold exists. Since Hustur is cursed, a circle made with flour keeps him away from anyone inside the ring. The ring only gives a small hemispherical dome of protection, so while climbing out, Hustur can attack. It is essential to be a quick climber. Hustur is always hungry, so to avoid being eaten, one must distract Hustur with a doll made of flour dough. When distracted, hitting Hustur's loincloth will make a bunch of gold coins fall out. The idea is to grab as many gold coins as possible and climb out of the womb before Hustur finishes the food. Vinayak becomes rich over the years stealing gold from Hustur. Who is Raghav, and what does he want? Raghav is an opium dealer and money lender that Vinayak has borrowed from. Over time, Vinayak becomes wealthy, and Raghav sees hard days and is desperate for cash to get an opium permit. Knowing that Vinayak gets his gold from Tomb Bad, Raghav uses his widowed daughter-in-law to try and seduce Vinayak and keep him away from Tomb Bad. Meanwhile, Raghav plans to head over to Tomb Bad and steal the treasure. Unfortunately, his daughter-in-law gives away Raghav's plan to Vinayak. Vinayak sets a trap for Raghav by placing a flower dough doll in a bag at the base of the womb. Raghav knows nothing about Hustur. When he follows the trail from the well and reaches the womb, he opens the bag to remove the flower dough doll, which summons Hustur. Raghav gets struck by Hustur, and the blow merges him with the womb's wall. Vinayak shows up mercy, and kills Raghav, so he doesn't suffer the grandmother's fate. Pandurong's training and the trip to Tomb Bad Once Vinayak's son, Pandurong, is old enough, he begins training so that he can take over getting gold from Hustur. Vinayak plans a dry run into the womb, but Pandurong secretly brings a flower dough doll into the womb. Hustur attacks, and the two just manage to escape. Vinayak gives Pandurong a gold coin as a trophy but Pandurong is keen on selling it to make himself money. Over the years, Raghav's daughter-in-law becomes Vinayak's mistress. Pandurong makes a move on her and offers her the gold. Vinayak gets furious and almost chokes Pandurong to death, but the kid tells Vinayak that they should steal the loincloth from Hustur and they could buy a lot more time by taking multiple flower dough dolls and keep throwing them at Hustur one after the other. Vinayak is impressed with his son's idea, and the two reconcile. The final trip back to Tomb Bad. It's 1947, India becomes free from British colonial rule, and the mansion at Tomb Bad is taken over by the newly formed Indian government. Even though Vinayak has enough gold he needs for a lifetime, he wants the loincloth filled with gold coins. Vinayak and his son take a final trip to the womb equipping themselves with plenty of flower dough dolls. Unfortunately, their plan goes south when multiple instances of Hustur emerge, one for each doll they possess. The two are trapped in the womb in a tiny hemisphere, thanks to the flower circle protecting them. Vinayak ties all the dolls on himself and climbs out. All the Husturs follow him out, and as they exit, a secondary flower circle around the hatch disintegrates them all. Tomb Bad Ending Explained The ending of Tomb Bad reveals that though Vinayak managed to get the loincloth full of gold, one of the Husturs touched and cursed him. Vinayak offers Pandurong the gold, but Pandurong sees the horrific consequence of the greed and refuses the gold, much to Vinayak's joy. Pandurong finally breaks the cycle of greed and curse, burns his father alive to free him from the curse, and puts him to sleep by stating, go to sleep, else Hustur will come. <laughs> Had Pandurong taken the loincloth filled with gold, he would have started a new cycle of gold lust as no amount of money would ever be enough. It would have ended with Pandurong paying the price by eventually being cursed and passing on the greed down his family line. Did Hustur die? No, Hustur did not die, he is guarded by the womb. 
Huster's physical manifestations are shown to emerge for every flower doe doll that is brought into the womb. So the next time someone shows up with another doll, there will be another physical manifestation of Huster. As long as there is greed in the hearts of humans, Huster will be alive and well.